everybody, welcome back to Manor and Brass episode 11 with me, Sid, and uh, I'm starting off today over at Frost's base, uh, Frost Manon, uh, Frost Manon, I think is, uh, <laughs> anyway, this is Frost's base, Frost uh, has been on the server pretty much since when we, when we started, um, hasn't built much base yet i know that is his next plan but what he has done is built infrastructure galore uh, and has achieved tier five mana and artifices doing britannia blood magic yeah, i think pretty much a bit of everything um and including create and that's what i'm over here to borrow i haven't really started with create yet but i desperately 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 need um brass so what we're going to do is we're going to borrow if i can get myself stood up here without throwing myself i'm going to borrow his uh his mixer to make myself a little bit of brass just to tide me over this will give me like 20 ingots once this is off um but ultimately we'll we'll get our own thing i think a little bit of your sail wasn't glued properly there just corning of things it got this thing is a sharpness looting protection on breaking and efficiency there's um don't know <laughs> however there's my uh brass ingots that's what i needed from here so yeah um looking forward to seeing what frost actually does build because i know uh, he picked this area because of those uh, that that massive structure and i'm not entirely sure what frost plans are but i, I i'm yeah i think they will they look pretty good um Right, where's where, where did I put the um, waystone? There we go, and cost me a couple of levels to come here, but at the moment I'm reasonably well equipped in levels, partially due to the fact that I have been working on the blood magic, and partially due to the fact that uh, my blood magic stuff is getting pretty good. So let me do one, two, three, four five I think we'll do five stripped logs I think that should be enough uh, oh, tool by tool chest of course throw that oh, actually no keep it on my person my voice is going again it's uh, it's completely at the moment it just seems to be coming and going and I'm not feeling sick or anything it's just Oh, hang on, that needs to stay in the world because we're playing with um, mana and uh, create. And yeah, you have to do them like this now, don't you? Of course. Of course you do, because, you know, crafting in your inventory was such a good idea. Now, if I remember rightly, what we do is we combine these with a redstone torch. So, stick i haven't lost any sticks of course i don't have any sticks why would i have sticks um sorry muttering to myself here there we go and rest it and i need one two three four five of those and that will make me oh ten redstone links that's way more than i actually need i didn't notice it made two that is fine we want a lever um, so we'll make one of those. Uh, I'm going to take some purple dye. Now I can never remember. Let me just try, see what happens. Purple dye. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. That's fine. So I only need one purple dye. And a redstone lamp. Of course I don't have a redstone lamp. Why would I have one of those? Because I don't have any redstone. So I need five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Make those. Oh, I only need one for the actual thing. 
and one for the hoofer. Okay, let me show you what I've been up to um, and what I'm going to be continuing to work on this episode. Um, this is going to be uh, an interesting one for me because it's going to be recorded over several days. So, yeah. But I want to get this one done and done properly. Uh, right from the word go. Um, to be honest, it's probably efficient enough now, but I'd like to make it four times more efficient. If I've got the spawners to do it, which I don't know whether I have. I've certainly got the spawners to make it three times more efficient, perhaps. So, what we've got going on in here right now is the blood altar in, but oh, look. I've cleared out a whole load of space and the reason I'll clean out a whole lot of space is to make it so I can get to all of the spawners easily because down here one two three four five in this wing alone uh, Six, seven, eight, eight in this one. Uh, I have uh, then nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's about it for around here. I might be wrong. Yep, 13 with that one. Doop to do. -doo. Fourteen, fifteen, spare. <laughs> I only need 15. I've already done one of the pods, or at least I've kind of started one of the pods. Well, I have done one of the pods. So let me show you what I've done up here, because we had one. Um, so for starters, I've now moved all of this up a little bit, and we've got a darkened glass viewing platform going up. In theory, the water in there can probably go once we get the Well of Suffering working. Uh, I have got myself up to tier 3 and I've made myself a number of blank slates and I've marked out the positioning for all of the rest of the things. Those are diamond blocks as I recall. Those are blood blocks. Uh, so, and this is all laid out. It's all done. It's all ready. Above those, which I'm starting to fill out, are the pods, and we'll, we'll fill in these blocks and we're going to do some nice ceiling work, and I've made quite a big space, um, and within each pod, there is a spot for the spawners, and you put five spawners per. Nice and simple. Um, so, oh, hang on, let me turn, uh, get out of there, did I have any blocks on me, I don't, I need to get a few blocks just to, fortunately I have got plenty of blocks because there's a lot of digging going on. So using create, uh, to make the create, um, contraptions. What I have managed to do is come up to here. What we do is we're going to place one of those on there. Uh, I actually do want to hang on. I've forgotten something else. And that ultimately the murder 
murder hole in the middle will not be necessary, but mm, yeah, some of that. More of that, actually. There we go. And I just use the create contraptions to ferry the uh, the blocks in. And what we're going to do is we are going to pop a block there. We'll pop a block there and there for now and there. We pop that there. And you will be purple. And no. And redstone lamp. And then we should be able to get down here, set up a control. I'm not sure exactly where I want it right now, but it doesn't matter. We will just pop you there for now. And purple. And redstone lamp. You are on now. The question is... What did I do with my wrench? It's there. Now is it... I think you do it on the receiving end, don't you? Not the um, transmitting end. Soon find out. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Let me just... Let me just... I'll go and grab... Oh, I picked that one up, actually. That's fine. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Purple. Redstone lamp. Yes, on the receiving end. So we'll come and take these blocks out. We'll replace you like that. And with a bit of luck, that's enough light to stop them spawning. Certainly seems to be. Okay. So that's that lot done. Now I've got these ones which um, are going to have a similar issue. So what we're going to do is we'll plonk one of them out. Plonk that in. Plonk that on, set that to receive, and put it on the same frequency as before. And then that can be taken out. I may actually um, Yeah, I, th I think I'll pop one there just to be on the safe side until I'm absolutely certain because this thing spawns mobs like it's going out of fashion. Uh, about there, perhaps like that. Now we've got plenty of access holes, so, you know, that's not a problem. And again... And again. No, what I don't want to do is get stuck at the bottom there either. So we'll repeat over here. And job will be a good one. So we've got wireless redstone just to control the lamps so we can turn this entire system on and off with a flick of a switch. And that seems like a 
perfectly good solution to me. So then the next job is to start bringing in I just heard a spider that was not anywhere nearby um, take that out so the next job is to bring the rest of these spawners in so that is going to require me to grab I know I put my rails somewhere there uh, I'll keep hold of that oh, oh bomb where did I there now I've mocked up the ritual of suffering underneath here so this is the structure it takes obviously with ritual stones and everything um, and the the text says that it has a vertical radius of 10 so anything that is stood on that floor should have or be within 10 of that ritual stone that's the theory so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes in practice but that's what I'm aiming for right let's go get another uh, spawner uh, in fact let's get the the position so all I do and I'm going to I'm going to do this once and then we'll you know we'll continue from then onwards um, is I come out like a so and uh, trying to think I need you to be one down so we'll do that and that one is directly underneath so it's there isn't it and we just hook this in and go find myself a spawner which is off down this way um, I think I've done all of the ones from the top level here so once this is done we'll block this all off and it is completely and safe you know completely safely lit um, um, we might as well have this one start off with and yeah block after it doesn't not necessary but I just like to do that don't know why just feels feels correct uh, have I got any more coal on me I am gonna need to grab some more fuel uh, got you got you got me lever so place you down stick that underneath lever in place Turn it into a contraption. And off it goes. And the nice thing with using the um, furnace mine car is you don't have to faff around with powered rails. It just does exactly what you want. This goes up in place. Take you, place you, take that out, and bring one over here. Then rinse and repeat another four times. Simple, yeah? Well, actually another 15 times, but uh, 14 times, but there you go. Everything comes through at the bottom here, so if it does fall into the system, it should. End up there. And as I said, rinse 
and repeat. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, last one <laughs> with uh, one to spare, which we'll leave. We'll leave him down here. This down here. It doesn't doesn't hurt to leave it. Um, but yeah, that is this is the last uh, one the mixture of zomb there's a few skelly spawners but primarily zombot spawners and off you go i think they're either in a cave or on the roof of the dungeon above us they're, they're not in the system here so that in itself is fine and I know there's a spare off one of these corridors I'll probably forget by the time I come around to use it but you know or need it but there is a spare zombie spawner always handy to have a spare okay there we go and of here plug up the window let me look at it 5 10 15 and then 20 in that one. Um, now right now the biggest problem is that I'm actually not going to be able to kill these fast enough so to use the blood that I'm getting out of the system but you know um, much like you know money i'm sure having too much is a problem with all like so in terms of problems i really am not going to sweat <laughs> having too many mobs in this system because it's just not a significant issue is it let's be honest um, so we got those, we've got some rails, we've got that, uh, we've got you, and did I get my lever? We did, okay, and we might as well put that bit of fuel in there while we're at it. Right. Dare I turn this off? Uh... I am most definitely going to need some stone. I am going to need this. And... See, the biggest problem is I'm jostling to get in. And the fact that it's very difficult to see where the rooms have got to. Now, what I would like to do is just get basic rooms to start off with and just keep upgrading them. But that becomes quite difficult. What I'm also not seeing currently is any skeletons. I may need to actually Im improve my... I've just realised that was a blank slate uh, already. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to come up with something. Uh, item collection is also going to be entertaining, but I'll probably go with a hopper hock. Or maybe even two or three hopper hocks. But, as you can see, not got a shortage of slates, but I have got... 
a slight overflow. I don't think all these are... Um, spawners are activating, you know. Um... I mean, it's an interesting problem to have, uh, but yeah, let me just continue with this for a bit, I'm back in a moment. Well, I had to turn off the light, uh, I mean turn the light back on, there were just way more than I could cope with. I came out with a bunch of armour which we're going to be able to use to disenchant and a bunch of other stuff. Um, a good amount of slates. We've got the divination sigil. I made that. I uh, think that's um, pretty important. I suppose we should also stock up our apprentice blood orb, shouldn't we? Um, I can't remember what level that goes up to. But we do need to decorate this place and we do need to push this entire thing forward and I also need to figure out if my uh, skeletons are spawning in because I didn't see a single skeleton in that uh, and I think it's possible that we're not activating all the spawners up there which would be a pain but clearly not a major issue either because well as you can see, we've got a, a goodly amount of power being generated just off these few spawns that are coming in. So, you know, swings and roundabouts and all those kind of things. It's, it's a good place. It's a good position to be in. Let me just take you out. I'm going to pop you away for a moment along with that and that. Uh, yeah, put the spot away. Put those away. That lot needs a home. I'm gonna let me just jump in there a second. Two, three, four. Let me take four stacks of stone and put those in there because that can stay here for now. So, in terms of decoration, um, I'm gonna start off by arching over this section here with this soapstone. And I did bring a whole load of soapstone with me. Um, I put it somewhere safe, you know, as you do. And I probably need a scaffolding block or two as well, which I think somewhere about got a reasonable amount of cobble. So, the first things first, we need to just make sure this will be a lot easier like this. That that these are, you know, as, I mean, they're not going to be big archers. It's just literally going to be a stair block and a slab, but it stops the drips. And that's what I'm after. Not after anything else other than to cease that infernal dripping. Nope. Uh, soapstone, uh, polished soapstone slab. That's the beastie. Just because this particular trait of water dripping through things can be a handy little thing, but it can also be a not a pain when you don't want it. So that will give me that going on. Then we're going to we're going to kind of arch over these areas in the corners. I am going to feature some blood in this build. So we're going to be bucketing blood in and letting it flow down some gutters around the edges. Maybe, you know, maybe like there and there. That'll give us a, a three gap in the middle to do something with. We've also, of course, got to put all the blood magic furniture and stuff in. So that is a thing we need to bear in mind as well. Um, and of course... This is not the easiest of places to build because I'm just that little bit too far down. Just 
still, let's continue on. Um, whether I'm going to get to the point where I can put in and activate a well of suffering is debatable. But more importantly right now I just want to get these drips cleared. I'm not so worried about the corner bits right now because whilst it looks ugly um, it's not annoying me with drippage. So, you know, why why fix something that is not actually bothering me or apparently broken at this moment in time? That's my thoughts anyway. A good old, if, you, if it isn't broken, don't try fix it routine. Now the other thing that's interesting is it used to be that on these... Um, blood altars you had to put additional light sources because the uh, the oh wow bugger the light level fell too low and uh, I just find it interesting that that is no longer an issue I could do with actually backfilling I mean this this particular area, I'm not. This is the, it's the one tunnel that I haven't filled because this is my entrance into the place, and currently it's my entrance into the place anyway. But um, I'm not keen on having these big spaces here. And that will want more filling in as we go. And if we if it stays, it will need prettifying. If it doesn't, I don't think it will stay. I think we will come up with a better entrance uh, in the long run. Okay, let me just continue on with this back a sec. All right, I have. Well, it's another day, obviously, because I am not quite as croaky as I was yesterday. Uh, I do need some cobble. I also need some planks. Uh, right, that will do. I've got my alchemy table. I made that to make the divination tablet. Um, that's the only thing out of blood magic I have actually made other than the stuff that we need for, you know, stuff. And it occurs to me that we have an opportunity to use some of these more dubious items, shall we say. Um, now, I don't know whether I want to go down this Necro Lord aesthetic, which kind of fits blood magic, but we've also got these things. Now, this is probably too dark because you'll, you'll see when you see the, sp when the space, but um, black in there might be too much, but the white might be an interesting contrast. And it's got a few interesting things. Now, I'm curious at just about this thing, what it looks like. Oh, I like that. I mean, I know it's not meant for for that, but it, it looks like benches. So, yeah, why not, eh? Right, so let's start off with maybe... 16 to sconces because and I would like um, doesn't well, we'll go with the desk left and the desk right um, maybe a few tables uh, hmm. do I want yes why not just go with four of those uh, definitely a couple of those. Not the chandelier, that definitely won't fit. Lockbox could be interesting. Oven, we'll take a couple of, um, because I might want to cook things now and again down there. A couple of these chairs. Uh, maybe a wardrobe. And maybe four of them and a couple of them. Uh, a couple of 
couple of skulls. A couple of weathery skulls. And then we'll just go and have a look up in the miscellaneous stuff. Because we have a little bone pile there. We've got a skull blossom. We'll have one of them. We can take a weather skull blossom. We'll take one of those. Uh, those are not stackable, are they? No. You have to, you have to watch these because some of them are stackable, some of them are not. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da. I think that will probably do, and there's going to be a whole load of stuff on the floor. So, what I'll do is, if I can I not reach you? Of course I can't. I mean, I'm not really worried about the cobble, but... So, that is all of those things. And then we've got the the actual blood alchemy table. And there are a few other bits of paraphernalia with blood magic, although I'll be honest, it's a long time since I've done it. But, here we go. This... This is it. Uh, I've moved the lever, we can turn it still on and off, it's still on manual slaying mode. Um, got plenty of flowing blood in the little walls there, kept it very dark. Um, although I don't want it to be, well I suppose I've just kind of broken that evil thing haven't I? Uh, anyway, we definitely need this somewhere sensible. Uh, how about like that? That works, and then we can take a bone dresser and bring you in there. Come over this side, doesn't really matter now because it's all... Stick a bone dresser there and then... One of those there, perhaps. One of those there. We'll grab a desk. And we'll plonk that there, along with a chair there. Uh, I've got the other desk. Which we will place there with a desk, a chair there. Duh. Hmm. Tape. Actually, no, let's... Doesn't really work there, though. Could do that. And then throw in that. Oh, no. Shading on that terrible. Bye-bye. What about the bookcase? Are you going to be as bad? Yes. Okay. That answers those then. I'm not keeping something that doesn't doesn't look good. That's see the chests. They they don't look too bad. Uh, we could even perhaps throw a chest there and there. That I could do for some storage. Throw in a chest. Maybe there. Chuck in a table somewhere else, don't know where. This is not going to work easily because eh, we could put one there, couldn't we? That works. We've got the furnaces, they need a home. There you go. And. Hmm. Chuck you in there. I say it doesn't do anything. It doesn't have to. It's fine. Now what we can do is take these out and stick those in. Um, and that. Ooh, hello. Did not. Did I not update you? Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, what have I got about my personage? Bet I've not got one of those, have I? Hum, 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 hum. Oh dear. 
We'll throw a block of black in and then it, it hopefully that will remind me to replace it. <laughs> and finally that one out and that one in there. Then I did these. So let's see, let's work on a That's going to be a pain though, isn't it? Because so I've got... Does that... Ah, we'll just leave it out. Um, it breaks symmetry, so... Which is, you know, sometimes a good thing. There we go. Uh, and they can go away. I'm not really worried about keeping everything. That can go on there just nice and you know forbidding key one of them can go oh hello one of those can go there and that can go on there Got a lock box can go there and hmm there That can go there, that can go there, pop that on there, grab a little bit more of this, one of them there. Again, this is just all me just enjoying myself with props really, there is no... real benefit to putting these in other than they they just look nice well yeah, for a given value of nice I suppose uh, we can take all of the stone out and we can take the weak oh dear <laughs> uh, pop that in there that can go in there as well uh, pick you up up you down, get rid of that lot. Well, not like that, you won't. Actually, to be fair, get rid of that lot. It's really not that bothered. I'm not that bothered about it. And pop you away. So, yeah. Mm. Right. Let's see about a screenshot. So, the actual, book has some interesting stuff in it. This has changed a lot since I last did it. And there is somewhere about, see if I can find it. Click here to get started. So. Blood magic is a build, blood altar, sacrificial knife, do that, blah, several blank slates and a few soul snares. Now, I've completely not done soul snares. So that string in an altar with those. So we need to definitely go there. I need to then hit snare on a skeleton. Ah, so crafts a good enough quantity, throw them at hostile mobs, white right particle effects, it's time to go on a kill on death, they will drop a demon will, before you ask yes, looting enchantment will increase the amount of will dropped once you've gathered a couple you can get to work on crafting yourself a sentient sword and a tartaric gem these will make collecting wills easier, ok so then you're going to do alchemy array uh, alchemy table you've got the alchemy array which I've already done Hellfire Forge, and then we're moving into tier two. And then you've got your potion crafting. Tier three, ability to do basic rituals and living armor. Um, and then you need to dungeoneering, and this is where it changes. By performing the edge of the hidden realm, this will allow you limited access to the demon realm and hopefully tower fruit, which can be cultivated into saturated tower and then converted into weak blood shards in the alchemical reaction chamber. These can be used to make the tier 4 altar and more powerful enormous and potion catalysts. 
there's lots to play with in this pack. Um, so, I need to, in the next episode or two, because I said I will do some building next episode, and I am going to stick to that. I am going to do my promise. Um, we will be able to get the build done, and then we'll next episode after that. I will probably push this or the other uh, or manor and artifice. Not sure what yet, but this is a few steps in the right direction I can just okay I'm just writing about what I was rattling on about I think the one about using the to the cute tab to cupidity um anyway yeah on that note this is it we have a blood magic setup uh and we are at tier three in terms of that we're not at tier three in terms of the orb yet because I need to build some rooms of capacity Uh, which I use imbued slates, rock, buckets, and those. Um, and each one adds a certain amount of capacity. So basically I can add four there and get this up so we can get enough blood in the system to make the tier three blood orb, which requires 26,000 life rather than 10,000 life which is the current capacity of that altar there huh <sighs> yeah I'm happy with this I think it looks really good I think once we've got the um, well of suffering going then that is just going to be an absolute life giver um, and in theory, I should then be able to stand right up in the middle on the top of this and hopefully activate all of those. If necessary, I'll even put myself a little st step thing over that so I can get on and stand above it. I don't know, but I'll sort it. It's a bit late to bring everything down by one and I really don't want to bring it down because it's... Um, well, it would make life awkward. Anyway, on that note, Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now.